Ooh, what is up you guys? And of course, welcome to the semi-finals of the Valor Pokemon League. And we're going up against the Tokemon Ortiz or Styx. And uh, he's a formidable foe. We actually lost against him in uh, the regular season. And while it did actually have something to do with my misabilities on Showdown, I'm not a big fan of Showdown, never have been. I uh, always mess up things when I edit here, and I still kind of do. So this way, I like actually had one really big mistake. Uh, it didn't necessarily affect the overall game, but it definitely made the game a bit more exciting, depending on how I want to view it. Uh, my Dianish was supposed to be modest with his wife Bell. It isn't. It's actually serious nature. Um, somewhere down the line, when I put the Eevees in, I, by mistake, uh, took away the plus and minus sign somewhere down the line. Uh, well, so it's not the ideal set. However, it doesn't necessarily have to do anything. Now, my team here is Offensive Denshi with Calm Mind, Rock Polish, Assault Vest, Stomping Tantrum, uh, Amoongus to be able to actually deal with Heatron 1 versus 1. Scoff Scissor to be able to deal with the majority of his teams, since none of them actually do appreciate dealing with him. Uh, Bulky Slowbro with Slag of Calm Mind to be able to win against Clefable 1 versus 1. Uh, Jolteon was supposed to be Modest Quick Feet. Is a quick is um, what is that? It had expert belts. So I actually wrote the wrong Jolteon. <laughs> How about that? It didn't matter at all either. So that's actually quite right. And Mesprit being bulkier built with Stealth Rock and Healing Wish. So really, with all this in mind, I felt that his safest lead here could be Clefable or Celebi. So I thought I actually decided to lead off with my Mesprit, as he actually starts off with a Heatran. This is okay, we can exchange rocks between one another, I have no reason to feel the reasons to actually defog, uh, mainly because, quite frankly, I'm not actually weak to any kind of hazards. Now, I do go for Thunderbolt here just to gauge some damage, it's definitely not a bulkier spread, or it has some HP at best, but it's massively bulky, as I bring in safely Slowbro, uh, just to expect his Lava Plume to come my way. Uh, or actually Fire Blast, what I was thinking. Now I'm going to go a hard switch, predicting him to be a Grass UMC with Solar Beam, as uh, I send in my Among Us. Now, this is quite right. Since I'm a Soul Vested, I can take a Psychic, not a Psy Shock, however. Uh, so I go for a Sludge Bomb directly, as he goes for Nasty Plot. And this was kind of scary, to be completely honest. I do a fair amount of damage, but Psychic sure as hell is in range of taking me out. So with that in mind, I'm going to bring Sister, because it just resists that damage. And hopefully I can U-turn out and KO something. Now, this should definitely be stated that uh, there was Scarf last time. It was kind of obvious that the only way of actually dealing with <laughs> this was actually bringing Nita Queen. So I think this switching is really fair as I can easily go to my Misprit. Now, since I'm carrying Ice Beam on this, I don't necessarily think uh, Nita Queen is a threat. It, it definitely feels it could be Sugarberry or Scarf. So with that in mind, I felt fairly safer to go directly for an Ice Beam. As uh, we do over 50% on the Laddie, uh, which means I can take it out next time on, unless you want to go for actually some kind of setup. Now, with this in mind, he does go for Recover. This is quite alright, but here's also where I realized that he can Toxic Stall me. So I'm trying to catch him in the moment where he tries to just recover and survive me. Uh, bring in Sister, which is Scarf, and can now maneuver him, and of course, with U turn, take him out. Well, he does go for a Draco, and uh, that knocks out the Sister. So, yeah, definitely didn't expect that, as that really works for my opponent, it's because all of a sudden, I can't necessarily outspeed besides the DNC. Uh, so with this in mind, I'm gonna go directly for Moonblast. I'm expecting Heatran to come in, actually, as uh, we get a lower roll, what I was thinking, but he's definitely in range where Earth Power can take him out. If I were modest, that is, um, since it's Shuka Berry, I am not able to take him out, and uh, yeah, I got kind of pissed over this. Because I do kind of feel that I got, I didn't need to sack my DNC there. I was so sure I was modest. So with that said, we're gonna knock out the heat run. Nothing really to it here. So I also realized that I'm not flame orb, uh, which means I'm not <laughs> modest. Uh, so he brings in the Clefable. I just go for the easy volt switch and bring in my Among Us, which definitely doesn't necessarily fear anything Clefable can do. Even though it goes for a coal mine, a clear smog is most certainly able to nullify any kind of boost he gets as uh, yeah clefable is in range of being taken out now he did have the poison reduction berry that didn't necessarily matter as um, this is in range now i was feeling a lot of guys was going to come in so i went for a foul play unfortunately for me native queen comes in 
Um, do decide to sin since I am assault vested and go for a stomp enchant room just to kind of pop the Shuka. Um, I was kind of hoping this Pokemon was scoffed, but that is not what happened. As I bring in Mesprit, as uh, my opponent go for an Ice Beam, uh, I'm starting to lose anything Mesprit had. I was kind of feeling whether or not I should go for a Healing Wish or anything like that. I do decide here to kind of stay in and just get some damage going on. Um, kind of felt that maybe. Uh, a healing wish to Amagus would have been better because getting that Pokemon in range where possibly he couldn't necessarily stop it. Uh, so with that said, you know, I'm, I'm definitely in range here where, of course, Celebi is now a massive threat to me. And uh, quite frankly, um, I need to be able to knock this out somehow. I do decide to stay in here and go for an Ice Beam. Clearly, that didn't work. Celebi clearly is faster as I'm going to send in my Amagus, I think. Uh, now, for Jolteon, go for Shadow Ball, I think. I was trying to realize you know, how the end game did kind of pan out here. It goes Trachyon, and uh, of course, Shadow Ball isn't necessarily going to do anything. Um, kind of fortunately here that I do pull a double, I think. Uh, did I go for. Yeah, I switched out because it was scoffed. That's, that's the reason. So I went to Slowbro. Clearly, that isn't working as uh, I'm now in a spot where Selby can go for Nash Blood kind of freely. Uh, I don't act on this at all, I actually miss out this situation completely and I really can't knock out the Sylvie at this point uh, since it goes for Nasty Blood, that's basically GG as um, I'm trying to kind of wiggle myself around here because Sludge Bomb is definitely not in range of taking him out I'm just trying to gauge him here, but it doesn't necessarily work I am in the spot here where I definitely can't do some offensive maneuvering anymore and as you guys kind of hear my voice we are definitely going to lose this battle because I don't find my offensive momentum to kind of wiggle myself around. And quite frankly, with two Pokemon with being the wrong set going into this battle, it's really all on me. I mean, first time, I definitely didn't go over my team as well as I should. Uh, this time, I really thought I edited everything right, but that is not what happened. As you guys see, um, Sticks really win this game 4 0. We're just going to speed this up really because there's really nothing to it to explain. Um, now, going about the team, I guess you should say, because I was really frustrated after this Wife of Bell. Hell, I was really frustrated after the energy went down because I did realize that, okay, I I was the wrong set and I really couldn't find reason why that didn't have, why I didn't KO. Uh, I was thinking, is, he, he wasn't a soldier, it was Shukabiri, no reason he was going to actually survive that. And I look upon my build and say, I was serious. I was like, that that ruined everything for me, and of course, as I stated here with Jolteon, while Jolteon wouldn't have been a massive threat towards uh, Jolt, uh, what I mean, sticks of anything, um, I do believe here a modest expert bell or a modest flame or would have been exactly what I wanted to do. I was quick feet, however, but I wasn't the right item. And I had no idea how that happened. Uh, but that's the thing, though. Like when it comes to showdown, I. I can't stay focused, I, I mess up a lot, and I really, really find Showdown infuriating when it comes to the League. Uh, there is nothing wrong with the way my opponent plays here, he plays just as well as he did last time. It is I who just, I can't play the same way, uh, or build the same way of Showdown. I, I don't know, it throws me for a loop, and I'm, I misbuild stuff all the time, and it's, like I said, it's infuriating. It, it kind of is like this, you have one certain way of processing a Wi-Fi build, how I want to go and go about it. Uh, when I sit in front of my PC and having a battle, um, I feel a lot more stressed and not as relaxed. While if I play it on my 3DS, I can sit um, on the couch or somewhere like in my office space and just relax, kind of uh, go into a different kind of mantra. I don't believe I have the opportunity of doing so when it comes to, well, showdown. And quite frankly, I just it just pisses me off that uh, this is the mantra of the game. I don't necessarily believe. I play as well as I should at the same time and have having the right build and I know it sounds like a very poor uh, excuse for you know if you're built right you know that's on you and that's the what I want to get that I'm so frustrated with myself that I can't provide the same kind of offensive quality in showdown as I do on Wi-Fi I'm just I'm not in a safe mental space and that's I'm, I find it so infuriating because I really believe I lose too many games on, on definitely league base battles. I don't care about regular battles, but leagues are so serious and so important to win that when you lose them, you get in such a bad mood and it really doesn't help that I lost on Showdown because it's just, it's the monitor. Like I, I think I've won two out of over 20 battles since Generation 7 in League format on Showdown because I just can't. 
I don't have that, like I said, that type of focus, and it find it just it annoys me a lot. Even after I recorded this, I kind of felt, you no, know, should I even try to explain what went wrong when clearly, you know, I'm going up against an opponent who knows what he's doing, and he's facing up against an opponent that aren't as well rounded in showdown. It's I don't know what it is, but it isn't the same thing, and then that really does kind of annoy me. Um, if I had to take a guess, I'm thinking it has a lot to do with that show, showdown is a very, very, you know, uh, turn after turn, it happens really fast, while the, on uh, Wi-Fi you really have to wait it out, you kind of need the mental processing a lot better, and also, of course, when things go south and going badly, uh, you have the time to kind of mentally come back due to the post time, while when I lost the Yenshi, I was stress played, you know, I definitely felt that, you know, gotta fix this, gotta do that, a lot of, like, um, first, second decisions that really wasn't just necessarily that good, and I really think the battle represents just that, and because looking upon it, I think, actually, since I know Terrakion was scuffed, that it was very, very few ways that my opponent would have been able to deal with Among Us in the end game. but I throw this all away versus Celebi, uh, because I don't see that opening uh, until I actually watch the game later and realize that, you know, what the hell did I do? There was no reason for me of actually um, switching out on Jolteon. I could just keep going with really good variety and I would have done fairly well. Um, but like I said, that's my issues. You know, I'll, I'll try to deal with that. Uh, if anything, I do wish Sticks all the well luck in the finals here. We're going to play the bronze games ourselves and hopefully that isn't on Showdown. So at least become top 3, that would be nice. We're going against Necrostivo, so it's going to be really stressful. Uh, however, I really hope I wasn't too lengthy in the end here, and I really don't want to come up as whiny. But as I said, I feel I play worse in Showdown, and um, it just... I don't know. It gets me in a very bad mood, because I do believe my performance in uh, Wi-Fi 3DS are a lot different than in our Showdown, and this clearly speaks for it. Um, so, with that said, guys, I want to, of course, as always, thank you for watching, and, well, join us for the last game, at least, but we're going to get Steve-O. Uh, so, take care until then, of course, guys, and, yeah, you know, everything, uh, I have no idea what I'm saying. Take care! Hey! <laughs>